Good afternoon, guys. We're up here this evening at uh, Red Creek Reservoir in beautiful Fruitland, Utah. Just uh, hanging out with my wife, who's in the truck now. She's about to take a nap. She can't stand the heat out here. But me, on the other hand, I've been sitting in the ochres for like the last five years, seven years. So, uh, shit, I ain't nothing new to the heat. Need it. Heat ain't nothing new to me. Shit. Just out here fishing, doing a little bit of fishing. The last few times I went fishing, I've got skunked. I ain't caught a fish since I got out of prison till today and then today of all days out here in the wild of blue yonder out here been uh, doing some fishing and I got me a nice old rainbow today figure I'll bust this here out show you guys how it's done He's uh, not very happy to be on a stringer there. He'll be even less happy when he's getting his guts pulled out here after a while. I never gut my fish till the end of the day, though, you know what I mean? That way I got them all at the same time. That way none of the meat gone south, you know what I mean? I'm gonna see if my fish like these guts, or my dogs like these fish guts. I'll uh, get back with you guys when I have a, another fish on the line. Have a good one. Okay, hey guys, I'm just bringing you back for a second to watch you guys. Watch you guys, this shit's funnier now. Tris. She just latched onto that fish a second ago, pulled him up out of the water. Oh, it was hilarious. Look, dummy, the rock. Get the rock. Get the fish. Yep, she's not having it anymore. Now she just wants to chase shit. All right, guys. Hi, dummy. My best friend right there, except for my wife. Okay guys, well I've got fish number two down here on the stringer. Just floating in the edge of the stream here. I've got this badass little automatic setter. I'll show you guys real quick. Technically it belongs to my father-in-law, but I've never seen him use it. Sorry not about, sorry about the bad camera angle, I'm using it with one hand. Okay, there's how that goes. And then you'll cast your line out, cast your pole out, I should say, run your line, back and mine's wrapped around my eye on the pole here a few times because I just reeled this fish in set it down you know okay well now to show you how it works you run your line back around and it sets okay and then I'm assuming anybody watching is already going to know what happens when you get a bite on a fishing pole. If not, don't ever watch my fucking channel again. Okay, and I'm gonna sit here below because I don't wanna get my fucking fingers. Well, when the line gets tugged, that little lever sets off. See? And it yanks up there. Damn good contraption. Whoever invented it's probably not a millionaire. But they should be. They deserve a million dollars a lot more than some fat bitch that burns her face on McDonald's coffee and sues for it. I'll tell you that. All right, guys. Well, uh, I'm going to uh, get this pole back in the water, catch me a couple more fish, and then you guys have a good afternoon again, guys. Back with uh, Chris Lindsay. Go to sleep, critter control. Right now, I'm not really controlling no critters. Mine's back here under control in the shade. Real smart critter, real smart critter. I'm out here trying to get a little bit of sun on this uh, fluorescent tan of mine. I'm uh, covered up nicely in some retarded ice tattoos, as you can see from my younger and wilder days. None that I really care about anymore. Matter of fact, Metro Gang Unit's gonna help me get rid of them all as soon as I'm off parole. But, uh, changing your life after a lifetime of idiocy isn't really all that easy. Very time consuming. It takes an extreme amount of effort. But I'm well on my way. Uh, you know, I never should, I never should have, uh, tried to continue my life of crime 
My mom told me at a very young age, son, you're going to fuck around and lose your gun rights and you're going to regret it. And boy, mom was right. She told me, son, you're going to fuck around and end up in prison just like your dad and your uncles. And boy, mom was right. You know, if I would have just listened to my mama my whole life, I would be a millionaire. I might not be a millionaire, but I'd be damn happy. You know what I mean? I'd be with my children still. I'd... It is what it is, man. I definitely wouldn't be sitting here on my ass after I just pled guilty to my seventh felony yesterday in Nevada. A case from 2016 that came back to bite me in the ass when I got out of prison this time. I find out I may have to do up to five years there. Hopefully, if the judge is having a good day, he'll give me probation. I hope. I hope he will. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to run again. I've made up my mind. It's time to man up and handle mine. You know what I mean? As soon as I'm done with the legal system, I'm done with it. I'm not. I spent too many years in the section with dudes that are just talking about how much fucking pull they got and how they got this and that and they can get this for that. And they, you know, and they... And I think to myself, dude, do you know how stupid you sound? You're bragging about this being your life in here. There ain't even no women. What's the point of, as a man, being top dog if there ain't no women around? A man wants to be top dog to get the baddest bitch in the yard. That's what it's all about. I mean, excuse the profanity. I'm not calling all women bitches, but I'm, when we're speaking about top dog top dog wants the top bitch and that's just simple physics female dog is a bitch not women some women are bitches not all of them not all of them my mother is not my wife is not my kid is certainly not my gee is not you know so well i'm gonna quit ranting on here and uh, get this video pieced together maybe depending on the length of it i might post it right now or might wait another minute or two all right guys